started off by saying, okay, Aizen has basically the hacks advantage, right? And so, and I don't know, I don't remember who brought it up, but they, uh, the mm -hmm. guy said, he brought up the what, um, that everyone in Naruto could basically resist Kuyukai as we get to. Okay, so. And I was like, nah. No, that's, and I brought up my that's not yeah. what I said. Um, what I said was that Aizen's the only character, at least like he's one of the only characters in Bleach that has mind hacks and no one in Bleach has resistance to mind hacks. So that's why they all get fucked by it. But thing is, mm -hmm. Naruto has a fuck ton of characters that do have mind hacks, and some with some of them actually being able to resist them. And then there's characters like Madara, who are mm -hmm. able to bypass that resistance because their <laughs> their mind hacks is just that much stronger. Mm -hmm. So I, would... I think I I um I countered that by saying a that Kyokasu Yugetsu is not a mind hacks in the traditional sense, the sense that it actively controls your senses it doesn't go for the mind itself but so right? does gen and i said that so does genjutsu yeah, and i and i came to deny that by proof by giving the jiraiya evidence that it comes that the illusions right. come from the disruption of chakra rather than actively controlling the mind itself and, I, and, right? and we and we said that that most likely that that would be that dry is wrong well that's actually that's um that's i think it, actually he said that's one of the because basically, um, Genjutsu is injecting your chakra into somebody and disrupting it. But then, in order to resist that, or to like, once you realize you're under a Genjutsu, you have to like rele release it by stabilizing your chakra again. Right. Well, and, well, he didn't. He didn't say you have to inject it. He just said he has control over your chakra flow. Well, because once said. you once you like disrupt the chakra flow, you can control that person's nine senses. And especially if the yeah. Uchiha, they can create things like the Tsukiyomi, which literally mm -hmm. you they inject of infinite world inside your mind and make you think like you're in this world. Like literally, like Itachi put like Kak um, Kakashi in this world where he was mm -hmm. like he felt like he was get he was like getting tortured for three days on end. But then when he comes back, he's like all huffing and pumping, and they're like, "Dude, mm -hmm. what just happened to you? Like you immediately fell to the ground." And he's like. I was being like tortured for like three days inside that Tsukuyomi realm. Yeah, but my my even, thing was even that it wasn't like. <laughs> so yeah, no, he I felt get, like I get he was you. in pain and all that shit. I, I get you, right? And I'm saying right, all of that is because is is a direct effect from the disruption of chakra, right? That means but that okay. why is that? Why is like the whole hmm? like thing of like it being able to disrupt, like um because what? that because. But I was about to bring because a one that would imply right that one you need chakra two you need a chakra system and three Man. you need the, there's an aspect there's the aspect that whether it, because it's you could I, I'm not gonna go we're not going to go into that because this is kind of an inverse thing but whether that control of chak uh, disruption of flow of chakra will achieve that same effect on someone like Aizen as opposed to people in Naruto. And that's something, you know, isolated to them. But I'm not going to go in, into that one. My thing, and I, I, I think the debate with Nate was whether everybody had chakra or whether you need right. a chakra to use a Genjutsu. Right. I think but, that was the main thing. Right. But um, one of the things I was bringing up is despite that, um, is that especially people um, who have the Sharingan have thing called like ocular, ju like ocular powers or ocular Jutsu. Where ba mm -hmm. basically they don't need like it doesn't matter whether or not the opponent has chakra they can still like affect their mind and shit and like <laughs> there's even like a like Itachi even has his own thing where it's like finger genjutsu you, like you don't even need to look into his eyes he can just put you under genjutsu just by looking at just by yeah looking but at his he, finger. He, yeah but, but here's the thing a lot of that evidence doesn't deny the aspect that chakra disruption. Okay, you're, required, you're, okay right? you're just going. This is like circular because you're just you just keep going back to this dry statement, hoping that it just, de like it just like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That it like kind of it just disproves all of that. Like, but I mean, like, like you just I'm keep not going back it, to the statement when I can easily just say that doesn't statement doesn't is wrong. No, I, my my thing is that it doesn't. I'm not saying disproves. My thing is that it was never in contention to begin with. Like, there's uh, at least from what I've seen, there's not a lot that has come out and basically said. A, that chakra disruption is not happening 
or that is doing something other than okay, what a conventional wow. genjutsu does. They, do, right? they need everything to like be stated for you in order for something to not, be like not everything happened. to be because things are. That's why we stated, have things right? called implications. Like, Yes, but my thing is that there's not a, there's not a, at least I haven't seen anything that implies that chakra disruption is not taking place, right? I haven't seen a lot that does that. And, and, I, sure. and I think that's my thing. That's really what I was trying to argue was like, hey, this is happening, right? But, it's, but chakra disruption could be happening in the background as well. There's nothing that comes out and says, hey, right. chakra disruption is not happening, right? And that's really where I was, I was at. Well, that's, I think he was just, in, in any case, I also think that like, um, you can either say that Jirai was wrong, or he's just specifically referring to just like basic Genjutsu and that it disrupts chakra. But also, like, like you can just like use Genjutsu to like disrupt chakra or something. But like, there's also, do you agree that there's other versions of Genjutsu? Yeah, that, that they can um, work differently. Okay, then I would just say that, yeah. like, they even like made it pretty clear that there's like different, like this like ocular Jutsu works differently. I mean, the, and that's just how it is. Um, which one? I, because I saw a lot of evidence there. Are you talking about the Itachi one? Well, I'm just talking about just the Sharingan in general. So you're saying the, the Sharingan in general doesn't work like convent, like it doesn't disrupt chakra. That's what you're trying to well, say. I'm saying that it doesn't work like ordinary genjutsu. That it has that it's better, and that if doesn't what, have, what it doesn't sense? and in the, the sense that it doesn't only disrupt chakra. It like it doesn't have like. To the point where you don't even need chakra in order to affect somebody. That's what I'm trying to say. That it's just that potent of Genju of mind hacks. Hmm. Yeah, I think that like, that's that, where I might need a bit of evidence for that because I, I I haven't heard of a statement that's come out that has actively said like chakra is not required for this Genjutsu, or at least something that has implied chakra is not is not required for this Genjutsu. Right? I haven't seen something that that has done that. Okay, like so mo most cases I've would, seen, you would agree that say um that sage and I, sage mm -hmm. and nature energy is not the same as chakra, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, and Sasuke was able to affect Manda, who doesn't have chakra. He has na He's he's a sage creature and has nature energy inside him. He doesn't have any form of chakra. But I mean, doesn't he have the sage energy? Is kind of like. It, wait. It's it's a different type of chakra. It's not just cha it's not just normal basic chakra. That's <laughs> literally Naruto. At, it's like a whole different form. Uh, uh, it, it's um, it's it's basically instead of using you know spirit energy, you're using nature energy in the place right. of yeah yeah. So I mean, my contention to that would be that by him using Genjutsu in that aspect, that means they share the same properties. At that particular point in time, no, I, I would just say that he just has that. <laughs> that it just has like what's the what's the evidence for that? That nature that energy. Have, the Genjutsu? No, but I'm saying that that's that like the fact that Manda is even surprised that he used Genjutsu on him at all is like pretty telling. I think that's the like whole point, which is like he forced him into a Genjutsu, and that's what like otherwise he wouldn't have been able to do that at all. Like with Ma. Like, Orochimaru has Genjutsu, right? But he even said, mm -hmm. like, in the fight with Orochimaru, that if he doesn't want to fight for Orochimaru anymore, he will. And it's not... <laughs> and if he, and if Orochimaru had Genjutsu, he would have... It's like, if his Genjutsu would have been able to affect Manda, he would have done that instead. Instead of having to be like, okay, whatever, Manda. Mm, that's, that's, that's debatable. Because they already had some kind of agreement with them, so I don't think. Well, I'm they... I'm saying that's like if <laughs> what I'm saying is I mean, like, my... although Mondo was willing to fight for him at the time, he then tells mm -hmm. him like if I I don't want to fight for you anymore, I will leave. <laughs> but the thing is, yeah. um, Mondo mm -hmm. didn't want to do that with Sasuke because he was literally using like Mondo as a shield, so then he wouldn't die. And obviously, in order mm -hmm. to keep Mondo there. He had to use Genjutsu on him. It's the okay. He used the Genjutsu, right? And my yeah, implication yeah, here Sharingan. is that <laughs> yeah, he's Sharingan. And my implication, my my uh, argument to that would be that uh, Sage Jutsu or Senjutsu, in this, if I can call it that for now, shares that same property with okay, regular. And, with I'm, regular and I'm wondering chakra. what the evidence is for that is because you're just assuming yeah, that the, it is. I, the, I think the the evidence for that is that a like just. 
because Manda again, didn't <laughs> from what you said right Manda wasn't supposed what felt Manda felt as though he wasn't supposed to fall on their regular genjutsu right that means that that means that by um, by your by your logic the sharon then by your logic the sharingan's genjutsu is more potent. Is not well one it's where well, you can say it's more potent but should but two it doesn't and regularly it's literally work. Like ex on, explain on that that's features, right? Yeah, and it was. De I'm saying that ocular jutsu is a not able to is able to affect characters that don't have cha that don't have chakra, and the evidence for this was why, and that's why Sasuke was able to affect Manda was be because he has ocular jutsu via his Sharingan. That's why he was able to affect him. All right, that's why I'm that's why I'm I'm making the differentiation between nature, energy, and chakra, and you're saying that they have the similar properties, and that's why. But mm -hmm. what I'm asking is for the evidence for why they are, why, why they are, they have those same properties. Like, where's the evidence for that? Because you're just assuming. They might, I, no, my evidence is that because Genjutsu works on Manda, then it's implied that they have similar properties. That was my. But I gave you the explanation for, for why, like, again, that Manda, like, if he, like, he knows that, like, like Orochimaru is like a really, really powerful motherfucker, and that he had, obviously, like, he has Genjutsu, but he then like why would he not why would he then say that hey i'm just gonna leave if i don't want to fight for you anymore it's like if he knew that he had this like he even like like monda even specified that it was because he had the sharingan that he was got caught under that genjutsu i mean there's not in that orochimaru interaction there's nothing implying that i mean of course you said the yeah okay i see what you okay yeah yeah i see your point there i see your point there okay mm -hmm. So, um, all right, then I'll concede on that point. I think okay. the uh, chakra thing, the Sharingan has something, yeah, different, or yeah, mm -hmm. at least has some, at least Sasuke's one has something going for it. Mm -hmm. Um, so now, so now I think it comes up, and now I think it comes up to the contention with, um, with the, uh, whether it's going to affect Aizen or not. I think that's where we're at because you said mm -hmm. one one you said eisen has no hacks resistance but well, um, i said that he has it, no mind hacks resistance okay mind hacks resistance but, but i'll say hacks resistance in general because in bleach is implied that with depending on how strong you are your the the effects of a hado or maybe a keto aren't going to uh, aren't going to affect you the same um um, sorry, I, I'm sure you know her, but I forget her name. She's a ninja girl. She hit, she hit an Aizen with a needle in the heart, right? And that's when Aizen made the statement that because that needle was supposed to kill Aizen in two strikes, that's the whole premise of her keto. But when Aizen mm -hmm. got struck by it, Aizen came and mentioned that, hey, our the 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 difference between our power is so high that the effects of your key, your keto has kind of lessened or has kind of weakened at that point. So. If we're going by pure logic of mind hacks as well, that means the mind hacks of any Bleach character that Aizen might happen to receive would be lessened as well. So you could you can consider that a resistance to mind hacks in verse. But you know, in well, because I was just gonna well, like besides that particular point, like is there any other instances where that is true? Because like. If, if you're, cause I'm guessing you're trying to say like the it's like Dragon Ball to the point where basically if you're stronger than somebody you should be able to resist their hacks, right? Are you trying to make that yes, point uh, with Bleach? Yes, as 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 far as it as um, Kidos and Hados are concerned, yeah. Um. So, what other instance besides that one then in particular, like? Hmm. Because it's hard, I would I would have brought like, up because that's the, the problem is that you have to kind of establish a consistency. <laughs> no, my thing is the, the difficulty with using Eisen in that aspect is that a lot of the times Eisen gets out of a situation is usually because he's already had someone under the the his um Kyokaisu Getsu, right? Like there was a time when he fought mm -hmm. um ah why am I forgetting these guys' names? I'm sorry, but he basically <laughs> no this dude. I'm sure you know him, but he has this this sword. His his um Zanpakuto basically makes an ocular genjutsu that flips the world inverted, right? So if you go left, you're instead going right. If you're going up, you're instead going down, right? But when he um 
if for some reason Eisen like completely just negged it, right? He just came and just cut the guy. And he's basically like, my Kyugatsu Getsu is better than your illusion. So my so there's this like this it's very vague whether he's implying that he's Kyugatsu Getsu overwhelmed his his own illusion or whether he had the Kyugatsu Getsu in place before he used his his um his own technique. So uh, you can see there's some contention there, but that's pretty much the only verifiable time you could argue Eisen resisted a mind hacks. That's how what I'll say. Hmm. Okay, because I'm I'm really trying to think about this because I've I've barely I've only gone through like the, the the anime of like Bleach, so I'm and it's like been a long time since I've seen it, so I'm so I have very vague memory, and I'm I'm trying to think of the person okay. that you're talking about. Like I'm sure. Was, I mean, when I'll, was I'll that send you an image of him. Um, right. I think I'll send you the fight. Aizen doesn't have a lot of fights. So when kind of when was this, by the way? This was during the um, this was during the the invasion of Karakura Town. Oh, in the invasion of Karakura Town. Oh, oh, oh okay, I, that makes sense because <laughs> I like um. Well, yeah, say Karakura Town, right? He's talking about <laughs> Shinji. Shinji. Okay. Uh, Shinji. Shinji. Yeah, Shinji. Oh, oh my god. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, yeah. Why did uh, that name <laughs> escape me? Hotter as hell. Um, anyway. Let me invert your vision. Oh, now you're fucked. Um, what? <laughs> wait, um, wait, show me. Yeah, I need to. How do you spell his name? Shinji? Um, S H I J I. Shinji. S H I N J I. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, Shinji. Man. I, 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 oh, my God. Of all motherfuckers, that one. Oh, uh, oh, oh, this, oh, one of the, um, oh, this motherfucker. Yeah, I guess I haven't gotten to that part. I, I always like, um, no? every time I try to rewatch Bleach, I always stop around the same time because it gets boring. And <laughs> fake color code tone. Um, so wait, can anyone else give the context to this? Because I'm, um, Essentially, his, like, quote, mind hacks uh, just inverts your vision and, like, distorts it and shit, I believe. It's very, very strong shit. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, Imagine the problem, like how, how strong is Shinji? In the universe. <laughs> um, so, Shinji was a former captain. Um, I think he got, he got exiled. Um... Right. Well, I was asking for his like well, AP so I can kind of get a, a grasp of what I'm, because like we're we're trying to do a cross for sh shit, right? So I'm trying to figure out mm -hmm. um the diff like say if I give this to you what um like this is basically Eisen resisted a uh, mind hacks from this guy. Hey, what's the topic? This. Um, Eisen um, versus Madara. Um, illusion. Yeah, whether or not like um, Madara's mind basically what if. What if Madara's mind hacks would work on Aizen? Is this like a debate? Are you guys? Just yeah. Playing? Well, it was like oh. a debate in text, and I brought it to VC. Yeah. So yeah, what is, like, yeah, what's um Shinji's AP? <laughs> like, what's his like best AP feat? Were you still there? I'm still here. Sorry. Okay, I mean, yeah. he cool. does like. There's not a lot of AP for him. He's mostly a slasher guy. Right. Because I'm, I'm trying to that. figure out, again, how strong he is to try to gauge, yeah, yeah. like, Aizen's mind hacks resistance if I give this to you and say, yeah, he does have some mind hacks resistance. Get you. I'm trying to pull out my scans. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Well, I mean, you can just, <laughs> like, what's the... What's the fee that you're trying to bring up, and like, what's the AP for it? If you can remember, like, you don't need you don't need to grab the scans. I'm just trying to figure, like, just tell me the AP. I mean, the AP, I'll say, um, I would put him at at least small country level because I I believe okay. he's as he's at least on the level of the Spadas. Okay. Well, I would just say that um, that Madara was able to um affect the Nine Tails with his base Sharingan, who is a plant. Who is like confirmed many times to be like planet level? Okay, I mean, and, if it's a power, if it's a power argument, I think um, yeah. we can bring that up later. 
Um, I mean, it was literally like it's been like a, I mean, it's, because, like, it's hyped yeah. up so much in Naruto that just mind hacking any of the Biju, like, like mainly the Nine Tails in particular. Like, mm -hmm. it's even like a thing in like the data book. It's just like, like they were hyping up Madara being one of the only. I think I can't remember if it was Madara or just Obito as like the I only. Think it was like, Obito. It was like uh, Obi just Obito like the fact that the nine yeah, just the I fact that he controlled the Nine Tails was such a a super op feat i mean it was it was just based off of that alone that minato thought that he was fighting fighting madara and madara is mm, like the yeah, only but... other character to mind hacks the the nine tails yeah so i mean i have no i have no problem with you saying that um i think that that, that goes into the power argument and my thing yeah. was what but my my argument here was whether aizen had a um, mind hacks resistance and that, that those were my arguments that okay. i brought up previously yeah so i mean right. well, with that because i because mm -hmm. well, the originally the topic was whether or not um modern versus um like because you were saying that uh eisen wins no contest and oh yeah yeah i brought that up um mm -hmm. and i was saying what and you mainly brought up um his mind his mind hacks right his um well from his i was just i wanted to i was actually actually we referred that it was mainly due to the amount of Hados and Kidos he knows. Like Aizen basically know is a Kido or Hado master. He knows everything up until the ninety, like to the ninety nine level, right? Mm -hmm. So like Kidos and Hados, they have the effects of you can see you can there, you can seal with Kidos, you can seal with Kidos. You can manipulate time with Kidos. You can bend reality to with Kidos. Like even if Madara had limbo, right? He, mm -hmm. uh, like Aizen has a keto that can literally just rip, like that dimension out. That that right. dimension that hides the limbos out. Like he can really, he can do that. So it was um, so so there were stuff like that. That's what I was trying to re um, refer to, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. What I was thinking was my argument was just like that. Um, despite all that, um, that either Ma Madara would just speed blitz and one shot Aizen. Or he would just um be faster than Aizen and mind hacks him before he can even touch his sword. So even if um, cause I was just giving uh, it to you, like even if Aizen was able to it, mind hack him, mm -hmm. that he that he would just be faster than him and mind hacks him first. I guess that depends on which Aizen we're talking about. I mean, if it's we're talking about you know, um, you know the the anime Aizen, you know, then I can see me how Madara can win there. But Aizen at the end of the manga. He kind of doesn't need the sword to put you under his his crew cast we get to. You can just you just look at him and you basically under it. That's that's really how broken right. it is right now. Yeah. That is a passive. So, yeah, it's pretty passive. Like you can just look at him and be under it. Okay. That's literally what happened when you watched um looked at Aizen. Like he fell under it. He didn't even know. He fell under his own mind hacks. He fell on he fell <laughs> under Aizen's mind hacks and didn't even know up, up until um, oh, a certain I, I, point. I, was, yeah. I, th I thought you were saying that Aizen fell under his No, own no, no, that's not. That, that, he be looked hilarious. at his own sword and got fucked. <laughs> yeah, oh, that would be shit. hilarious. But no. So, um, yeah. But um, if we're getting into a power argument, um, I think it's... Okay, so here's the main thing I'll say with Aizen. I don't think Madrak would ever beat Aizen in a strength contest if he had the Hyogyoku. Uh, the Hyogyoku. You because don't think Aizen could literally with the Hyogyoku? Yeah, if okay. he had the Hyogyoku, uh, the Hyogyoku, mm -hmm. the, um, Madara, uh, Aizen could literally evolve to the point where he beats Madara. I don't know. Like, I, I, well, how fast is um is Aizen? How fast is Aizen? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Well, it's a bit, it's a bit contentious. Mm -hmm. um, we know Aizen is faster than characters who are faster than light, than, than light, mm -hmm. uh, light speed attacks. Um, usually, like from what I've read in the data book and scans, mm -hmm. a lot of people refer them to like faster than lightning. But there's not a really set bar for his speed, if I can say that. Right. Like, yeah, there's nothing that has come out and actually said, oh. This is how fast Aizen is. It's, right. it's pretty contentious. Well, yeah, that, I so. think that's the main problem with Bleach as well. Like, I, I, that's why I hear a lot from people who scale Bleach. And when I was going through Bleach as well, is that they don't really. Um, it's not very. Exp 
like super explicit on Mm -hmm. like this especially like the speeds of the attacks and you have to really go into like the data books in order to find out that shit yeah Um, and and even then i think most of the best feats are via power scaling right right Um, Uh, even that is a bit contentious in in some aspects so yeah like i would concede um my drug is faster simply Mm -hmm. because there's not enough evidence to support eyes and speed at this point in time yeah okay yeah yeah that's that's the problem is like um yeah, that's that. That's the reason why speed is such a like an OP. Well, that's like like one of the big factors in a versus battle, right? Or and especially mm-hmm. in debate is once you get off the fact that your character is faster, then it's basically just like, okay, then my character will just blitz your character and hit him with like an OP ability that he has no defense against, or he would just one shot him with his AP. Mm-hmm. And it's just like. Once you have the speed point, it's going to be a lot easier for you to win the debate. I'd be very surprised if someone somehow won the speed point, but yet they somehow mm-hmm. still lost. Unless but, they, but <laughs> they were literally up against a character that they literally could not like, beat up or something like that. It's true. But here's what I'll say about Aizen. I think the Hyoguku literally protects him up until the point he can evolve. Because say Madara you know, slices him, right? He'll mm-hmm. just heal, up, heal back up. Like, here's the thing, the Hyogoku literally reality warps events to the user's advantage. Like, mm. like, like it's, um, it doesn't just power you up. It literally molds events so that they work into your favor, right? Like, it could change stuff in the, I think, from, its impl- from the implication when Aizen was talking to um, in Ich uh, what's it? Ishin, uh, Ichigo's father, mm-hmm. uh, his name is hard to pronounce, but he basically said it has the ability to even control events in the past, right? It, to mm-hmm. mold them into the mold them into events into the present, just so it can serve the user. So, like Whoa. one of the reasons Ichigo even won was wasn't even because he was stronger, but it's because Aizen, in, like in his in his core. Like he felt lonely mm-hmm. and he felt lonely and i think the hyogoku responded to that by by letting him go, by you know by rejecting him <laughs> i think that's i i forgot the full context of it but it's because of aizen's mental state that the hyogoku rejected him in the end but that's really why uh, you um yuahara was able to seal him okay because i was yeah. just gonna say has this like effect um like been able to have like because literally, um, I think Madara has e- even better ability in the form of the Izanagi, where basically it's just like even after he, it's like right after you die, he can immediate, he can immediately um, well, like upon activation, he can then use Izanagi to then, like rewrite his own death and be like, yeah, that's like a, it's basically just a, a no you attack that litter <laughs> that even Donzo like spammed against Sasuke, like I I, I get that, but I think. The, the Izanagi works on the user, like, it works solely on the user, like, it would revive oh, yeah, the user, a... right, and bring him back to life, but the Hyogoku affects every, like, everyone, around, like, the fate of pretty much everyone in Bleach. Well, because I, like, I was just going to ask, like, what happens if Madara kills him, is it going to uh, then, uh, like, rewrite that, or? Well, like, like take, there... for example, Aizen versus, versus Gin, right? Like, Gin pretty much eradicated Aizen's heart, right? Like, in all measures, he should have been dead. But the Hyogoku literally, like, he, and Gin even pulled the Hyogoku, uh, the Hyogoku from his chest, right? Hmm. But Aizen had so much command of the Hyogoku that he basically healed himself back up from disintegr- his heart up from disintegration and was able to still command the Hyogoku, even though Gin still possessed it with him. Like that's how much control he has about um, the Hyogoku has on the user. Like you could literally die, and come back stronger. So he's able to have his whole part um, pulled out of his chest, and he was able to like reverse. No, that. disintegrated. His he whole was heart disintegrated? completely wiped out. The whole heart completely wiped out. Oh, his his whole heart was just completely wiped out. Okay. Yeah. Because I was just gonna say one of the because you were mentioning the fact that like um the reason why the hope goku like rejected him is like Aizen just got into like this mental state where he was like lonely and depressed right yeah because then i was just gonna say um like that modern would just put him under izanami 
and then basically say you can't get out of this until you start feeling that's <laughs> it's like until I you mean, basically concede. I, I'll be fair, there could be a chance of that working. But I just don't know how the Hyogoku will respond to that, right? Would he respond that's, to strength yeah, that's or would he point. respond to rejection, right? That's, so yeah, it's, that's the point. Um is like um we <laughs> that's the like the the su thing that like in debates is like we go off of like mm -hmm. what we've what we know and not what we don't know. So yeah. obviously it's like if we haven't seen evidence of them being able to like respond to something like that, it's just like well, we won't we can't really tell if they would or wouldn't. So we would mm -hmm. it's safer to assume that they wouldn't since we haven't seen them done that. Yeah. It's, like, it's just like the whole with them. Um, like with people say, well, we don't know how powerful Saitama is. We could never see him go at full power. It's like, well, we can't just randomly assume how strong he is, even if we mm. haven't seen it before. It's just like the safest assumption is to assume that he's like as like, well, it's just better to say we know he's this powerful at the very least. He could be stronger, but it would just mm -hmm. be headcanon to assume any more. Right, of, unless we yeah. actually have evidence. Yeah, so that's the, yeah you're, that's you're, the you'll be approaching head cannon if you just if if you keep going that route. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I see your point there. Then mm -hmm. you know, at least I'm I'm just on the point where you know, if even if Aizen was weaker, the Hyogoku would pretty much make him stronger, to the point where he can beat Madara. I think that's that's really where I'm at. Right. With it, so I, the thing is, I would just say that Madara would just beat Aizen before he even gets the chance to become stronger than him. That's, I just uh, don't see that. I don't under, I don't well, see that happening. Like, well, like, well, <laughs> um, that's well, that's the thing is just that um, like in the versus battles, we don't assume that like oh, like it's just gonna be going on forever. It's like either not like he blitzes and one shots him, he puts him under them, like he already is faster, so he would either one shot him, mine hacks him under under izanami and say like say you literally have to concede this battle or you're gonna stay here forever and it's like unless you uh, have any counters because, to him because being able that, to resist that that's because like, my thing is like the whole thing here is the hyogoku it literally makes things work to your advantage so right, say but... even <laughs> say even if he did use the izanami or izanagi right the hyogoku literally warp fate so that those like whether the effects or whatever it doesn't it basically it doesn't impact it basically doesn't impact Aizen in right. well, uh, a negative way or at least make sure Aizen wins in some form way or fashion my next question would be when has the has a Hogyuku ever been able to counter something similar to Izanami and that's <laughs> that's what I'm wondering because unless like, you, unless that does happen I don't know if you can say that the Hyogoku would just um, negate the Izanagi, Izanami. I mean, the Izanami, okay, because Izanami puts you in a, loop, in, a, in a loop, and you basically have to figure out yourself before you come out. But, my, but the thing about well, it is It's literally like, like you're, you're in this you're looking, infinite loop you're, until you do what the user tells you to do. Yeah, and but the way you're looking why, at it... That's why Itachi put him under it and mm -hmm. said, because literally that's the reason why Itachi does, doesn't kill... Kabuto, because Kabuto said, even if you kill me, the the Edo Tensei will still go on. So Itachi mm -hmm. then realized the only way to truly um defeat Ko um like <laughs> Kabuto, Kabuto. Kabuto. Yeah, yeah is to put him on and to, like release the Edo Tensei is to f put him in the Izanami and force him to, because he could not get out of that unless he unless he was um going to release it. I get and, you on that, right? And it's and not like they what, can what? lie about it either. Like literally, he said, "You hmm. like you have to be convinced and like literally concede in order to do that." So yeah, unless the Hogyoku has literally countered something like that, I don't think you are able to make the claim that it would just overpower it. Well, I'm not making the claim that it necessarily overpowers it, right? My thing is this: the Hyogoku can literally go into the past. And rearrange things to maybe say the Izanami never happened or Aizen never got caught in the Izanami, right? Right. But, literally... has he, but has he done that while under something similar to the Izanami? That's what <laughs> that's what I'm trying yeah, to but... get you to realize here. <laughs> but my thing is this, right? The Hyogoku has has control over fate. Like the time I the even like let's say even before the battle starts, the Hyogoku has already ensured Aizen wins, right? Up, unless right, Aizen, but... in his mental state, 
kind of kind of says, no, this is not what I want anymore. Like it's literally up to Eisen to 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 say, oh, I'm not interested in this anymore. For the Hyogo code to be like, hey, it's rejected. Hey, hey I'm rejecting but, this user. It's over, right? This is but like up until then. What it's he's kind of like like it's an assured victory. I right? when well again, that's why I'm I keep going. I have to keep repeating myself saying, unless. The Hogoku has literally countered something like that via doing specifically that. Then I don't think you can make the assertion that that will necessarily happen, because we don't because... know. We don't know if he can, if the Hogoku has is has is capable of doing that. We know it has like the capable do capability of doing that when not under Izanami. But if he was put under Izanami, would he be able to? And we don't know. So the safest assume is it, that he can't. Because now it, 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 <laughs> that's what I'm trying hard. to say. Because... One of, the contention is hard because the whole at this point, right? If he does the Izanami, it's going to be all dependent on whether Eisen on whether on Eisen's state of mind. If Eisen's state of mind is not in the negative, then he, the Hyogo could then, literally just adapt to it. Then I would literally or evolve say out that, of it. that mod, the Madara like puts him under the Izanami until he's in that same mental state where eventually he just internally gives up that's literally what um itachi does to kabuto because kabuto doesn't immediately be like okay 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 bro like he literally went through an entire <laughs> character change and like mm. to the point where he was then helping the alliance in some form like he literally healed sas i'm like didn't he like he healed sasuke at some point or something yeah yeah, yeah like he like he, the person he he was fighting against originally with Itachi, he then has a whole full on character change and then is helping his enemy, again like in the war. So I would just say that's exactly what he's gonna do to Aizen. Mm. Well, well, see, my thing is the way Aizen responds to it. If Aizen doesn't respond in the way Kabuto did, then the Hyogoku could literally evolve out of that. But if he does, then I'll give that point to you. I think there is okay. a chance for Izanami to work in that situation. Right. That's what I was like, like, that's the problem why we don't argue for possibility here, right? Because you can make yeah. any claim for a possibility. Like, so, like, in a debate, like, that's literally anybody can do that. Like, anybody can claim, mm -hmm. well, I think it's possible. It's like, well, the thing is, we're going off of what we know. So... Mm -hmm. If we know that he can resist that, then we say, okay, then he can resist that. But if we don't know, then it's the safest to assume that he can't. So, mm. although I'm willing to say that it, it, it may be possible that the Hogyoku may be that powerful, but we don't know that. So, we can't make really make any claims about that. We can speculate, sure, but there's not really I mean, any evidence to support that. So, that's why I don't, I mean, I'm not going to accept I think it. the only thing it says is that it can... It, it basically reality warps. It can. It basically makes it builds events towards the user's advantage. So I don't know the scope of that, right? I don't know the scope of yeah of its power, right? Issue. So that's that's contentious on its own level. But we do know that the it, we we do see the effects of it, and that's why I was bringing that up. Like right, that's a possible way Eisen it's could like, actually win if was, everything um, else fails. Like we were um. Like this is like what I was trying to tell Cat earlier because he was trying mm -hmm. to say that um that Shisui is like the best genjutsu guy, like has like is like the best genjutsu user in Naruto, and I had to contend with that with that's because that's the problem with Koto Matsukami is that it has a really good description of like oh it's a genjutsu that makes you think you're not you're doing this on your own for volition and not because you were just and you are not even aware that you're under a genjutsu, but the problem yeah. with that is. Is that we haven't really seen him use that like ability on anyone in particular that's really potent, and mm -hmm. the bet and thing is characters like Obito have actually done something like like some like really similar to that against Yagura, like a per who is a perfect Chinchuriki, and Chinchuriki are known to be characters that have a pretty good resistance spot to mind hacks because if the mm -hmm. user is caught under the mind hacks, the tail base can literally just snap them out of it. Like that's what. Um, that's what killer. Um, that's what uh the A tails did to Killer B when he was put under Itachi's mind hacks. He literally yeah. like flicked his head and like snap out of it, B. And um, but the thing is, like when Obito did that to to Yagra, like he was completely under it, and was do doing it for three years. And then yeah. you, and then you have him. Then you do like that same thing with his base Sharingan and able to 
mind hacks the nine tails which is something that shisui has not been shown to be able to do the best we can say for yeah. shisui is that literally they were like debating about whether or not to like it was literally like a debate between i think it was like donzo who's in all like the the big higher ups in the leaf village is whether or mm -hmm. not like when they, they were trying to figure out what to do with the U uchiha and they were like either we have itachi literally kill everybody in the clan or we have Shisui literally use Kotomoto Kami on everybody. And mm -hmm. they and so like the best we can say from that is like, oh, that means we know that at least Shisui can affect everybody who's currently in the Uchiha at the time. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't really that's not as but, impressive as someone like Yagura or even uh, the fucking uh, nine. Here's, the, but here's what I'll say about Shisui's um, jutsu. Because one thing we know is that um, there, can I sit they, duck different dojo you know, brought my name up mm -hmm. um, yeah no uh, I think the statement about Shisui's Genjutsu how should I put this it's I was doing something else when I read that what you were talking yeah. about um the statement about Shisui's Genjutsu is more like it's the greatest like base well, yeah, and it's, it's like, like well, they were ability. they praised it as like a really good ability, but the the yeah, problem is that we haven't just really doesn't have the power. It's oh yeah, well that's like it's like we're going back it's to like the to we're going back to, to the, actually be the best. Yeah. It, it goes back to this whole Hogyo thing because the reason why I brought it up is that we it's like it's stated to be really powerful and it's like praised to be this really powerful ability, but the problem is we haven't seen a lot from like Shisui using that ability. To say that it's just as potent or more potent than, say, Obito's Genjutsu. Like, his base Genjutsu. And, like, yeah, the best you can say is that he's able to affect everybody in, like, the, the clan at the time. Yeah, so. there's a difference between saying something is the best mm. potency and something is the best as in, oh, if you kept training this, this could be the craziest thing ever. Like, right. utility but, uh, versus power. Okay, yeah. So, but, but I mean, you get what, what, I you get what I'm saying. Shishui, <laughs> like yeah, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. but, um, I think it's what I was going to say about Shishi was that one of the things we do know is that, at least from the encounter with Naruto and Itachi, his Genjutsu would have to be stronger than Itachi's Genjutsu. Uh, that, sorry, his Sharingan would have to be stronger than Itachi's Sharingan for the Kusama Tsukami to work, right? Since you, sure. since you literally ha need to have a stronger dojutsu to defeat another jo dojutsu, right? Mm -hmm. So in um, that aspect, I mean, I mean sure so you could that say that. Um, mm -hmm. like um, but I think the other part is just that um, what is it? Because literally um, like Shisui gave him that eye, so then eventually. Actually, no, he went blind, so I can't make that argument. I just realized. <laughs> I was gonna say that he gave him like Shisui gave him the monk. Um, what was it? The Mangekyo. Yeah, that, that he the Mangekyo, gave, right? So that he could like get the like internal Mangekyo Sharingan, but then I realized, oh wait, yeah. he went he went blind before he died, so I can't really yeah. make that argument. Um, so I guess you could um say that like he affected Itachi, but um, the problem with like especially like that um that data book shit where it's like that like it's a a really big feat for Obito being able to do that. The thing is like that really just puts obito's genjutsu above it like that's the like the argument is that it puts it above itachi's because that's just mm. like oh like she sweets like you could probably say like yeah the kodomatsu kami is able to affect someone like itachi but itachi's not as strong as the nine tails so mm. and that's the problem mm. and we and we also yeah. don't know if he could like affect the nine tails or not i mean as far as Itachi is concerned, I know it's going to be a bit contentious, mm -hmm. but I kind of don't see him being stronger than the Three Tails. And I say that because of wait, who? the filler. I, I say that because of the filler. I wait, 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 who are you talking about? Wait, who are you talking about? Itachi. I didn't hear you. Oh, like Itachi, Itachi is... like alive Itachi, if I can that, say um, that. That his like, Genjutsu wouldn't be able to affect the Three Tails is what you're saying? I'll say it's at the Three Tails level. Okay. Because cool. because from what I saw with his fight with Have the Three Tails, the I don't... I... Excuse me? It's because fucking Yagura... He couldn't beat Yagura. He was a perfect Jin Shiriki, huh? Yeah, pretty that's much. Um, okay, well, that's the, well, that's the, well, that's the, diff well, that's the di weaker. difference. Is like Because, again, that's why... um Like, the reason, like, when I said, like, Jin Shiriki have, like, a... Po 
have like a like a good resistance to mind hacks is because literally someone can like that's one of the counters to genjutsu is literally to have someone buy you to knock you out of it if you happen to fall under mm-hmm. genjutsu that's why when they were gone up against itachi they were that was like um K- kakashi was literally telling them that they all need to be really aware of each other and and because if <laughs> itachi like puts them under genjutsu they have to literally like and, it's like oh not until it's under genjutsu then he, it's like sakura you need to slap him out of it and like that's how you get out of the gen that's like a way to get out of the genjutsu and that's why having a tail beast inside of them is really important because then they're able to snap him out of it but it's even more impressive if he's able to affect yagra and the tail beast at the same time like that's why it's mm. so potent and what is it and then uh, obito then uses it on a full nine tails as well like on a full nine it's not even just half of the nine tails as well because i just realized in my head that like i was about to be like wait you could probably argue that sasuke's is better than itachi's but then i'm like oh wait no he only used um he only like um suppressed like half of the nine tails that was like inside yeah, yeah. that one time he didn't really affect him with his sharing gun but he did like affect him uh, okay, like, but we we okay, we can assume that it was at least one tail's worth, right? Because he 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 basically pulled out the 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 one tail the V one cloak, right? Then no. Sasuke kind of subdued it. No, he didn't. He didn't. No. Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. So, but oh, well. we're getting off topic. So, okay, what I'm yeah. trying to yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that there's not enough evidence to say that the Hogyoku would be able to overpower or negate the Izanami. Uh, Unless unless you do have evidence of of the Hogyoku being able to literally counter something like that, then we just, we can't really say if it can. Well, it's... Maybe not to counter it, but we do know it has the ability to twist events to fit a certain outcome, right? You, you, so my thing is like, that, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've said that, right? And I understand that, okay, if the Izanami took place, I can see that being the perfect case for it, right? Mm-hmm. But up until that point, right? It, there's so, okay, there's too many, there's a vario, there's too many variables on whether the Hyogoku will adapt to Madara before he's able to have the because... chance to do that. Because you know, Izanami is pretty much a last resort kind of thing, like since it takes away an eye. Right. So I don't see him well, using it. I'm saying that beginning. like, I'm saying that's one of the ways he can defeat heat him, right? Because I said, okay. like, yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. I was naming yeah. off all the other ways is because he, now he is able to speed blitz Aizen that there's multiple ways that he can defeat him. And I said, one of those reasons, one of those ways is that he speed blitzes him and puts him under Izanami. And that mm, Aizen okay. has no counter to that. I get you. Okay, no, I I, I get you there. Um, okay, and I see Izan Izanami is a good response to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's that's like one of the reasons why like the Hagaroa versus Yuha debate is actually like it's really it's a really bad matchup for Yuha because one because it's not just like like with Madara he literally loses an eye from that, but with mm-hmm. Hagaromo he doesn't. It's literally like like specify that it's like he it's like an inf that he has like infinite izanagi and izanami and it's like not something that he just can get it's like he's it's not something like he loses like it, there's no drawback from it basically there's no like oh well you can use this ability but now you have no eye it's like no like he he can just spam this shit and literally he like yuha has no way in a, able to counter that. it's like a it's like a super big hard counter to mm-hmm. Yuha, so that's like why that's like like people just yeah. like misunderstand like Yuha's ability and once they realize that's his ability and then they see that Hagoromo is much faster than him and then puts him under infinite Izanagi well not Izanagi, um, Izanami it's Izanami. like it's like no matter how many futures he looks in he's literally repeating the same events over and over and over again until he literally like concedes the battle Pretty much. It's okay. Like, I, I feel you. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, All right. Is that everything? Well, Just making sure. Um, that should be everything. Um, yeah. Because I'm not. Because I have to do a little bit more research for the power argument. So I don't want to yeah, bring right. that up right now. So um, I think that should be. I think that should be it for now. 
Okay. Yeah. 